So here is a 1952 copy of Look Magazine. Um, and you'll notice that we have Marilyn Monroe on the cover. Um, shortly after her popularity was starting to peak. So that makes this this magazine pretty special. Um, there's the old mailing label on it. It was going to Florida. Um, and we also see that there's an article about Pablo Picasso where it says Picasso decorates for newlyweds um, and an article about Leslie Caron so here um, Marilyn Monroe says yay Georgia Tech so that's pretty cool because uh, it is football season it's college football season right now and uh, I'm an Alabama boy and of course Georgia is right next door to us so um, but anyway it's uh, interesting to see this uh, and we have the football forecast so if you're a football fan or interested in that too you might find this a little bit interesting so let's turn it over we have an ad for camel cigarettes and um, camels agree with your throat at, at least in 1952 apparently they did what what did you change to can why did you change to camels Patrice Munsell as an opera singer I must think of my voice and throat. My cigarette must be mild. By smoking only camels for 30 days, I found camels suit my throat and taste gland. Uh, smoke only camels for 30 days. See for yourself how well camels agree with your throat. I do not recommend that. Um, now, the magazine is, is uh, from 1952, so it's a little bit... Um, I'm going to be very careful with it because I want to keep it as intact as possible, but I still want to flip through it and and let's uh, let's transport ourselves back to 1952. We just got this in the mail and we're going to flip through it. If I, if I had some 50s music, I'd put it on right now, but I don't want a, a copyright claim. So uh, I do notice that this was a, the cover price was 15 cents. So we're looking at the September 9th, 1952 copy of Look almost to the day since it's September right now, I mean, this is, um, oh gosh, is it 67 years ago? Uh, that's, so that's, uh, let's go ahead and turn the page. And on the inside cover, we have an ad for Old Golds. Uh, we put it down in black and white, Old Gold Cigarettes. Uh, if you've put medical claims for cigarettes in the doghouse, remember this simple fact. No other leading cigarette is less irritating or easier on the throat or contains less nicotine than old gold. This conclusion was established on evidence by the United States government. So that sort of contradicts the camel ad on the back cover. They were saying that um, their cigarettes were easier on the throat. But my, uh, I'm, it's interesting to me, that tells me that 1952 there must have been a lot in the news about the dangers of smoking cigarettes like, keep in mind this was also one of the uh, times in American history where cigarette smoking was at all time high interesting stuff um, here's an ad for Listerine Listerine stops bad breath four times better four times better than chlorophyll four times better than toothpaste stops bad breath up to three four times longer um, and here it acts on three areas where breath odors can start and it's and you know that's another thing about the 50s that's interesting is you start to see in ads you start to see charts and graphs like this because this is a time period when science is king and they want to show that they have scientific uh, findings on their assertions here and it looks like you got some uh, And I do apologize for the uh, sirens outside. I hope that did not destroy the video for you, but hopefully there won't be any more. Okay, so um, we have an ad for uh, the Jim Duradium Process Blade. Um, Tracer Light Photo proves new miracle blade. Easier on the face, shaves cleaner with far fewer strokes. Um, and we have another chart here uh, to illustrate their assertions now we got uh, this was this is crumpled up because this was a pullout insert 
and someone had pulled it out and shoved it back in. But the offer is for any three uh, books for a dollar. And these books would come with dust jackets on and hardcover. And we got titles like The Cane Mutiny, um, The Saracen Blade, uh, The Iron Mistress. That's about Jim Bowie, in case you're wondering. I don't, actually, I just saw this movie on TCM the other day, which is interesting. It, it, I didn't even, I saw the title and I had no idea it was about uh, Jim Bowie and the Bowie Knife. And in the movie, they made it out of like a meteorite or something. Um, and then on the back, there's, let's see, an ad for hair tonic, um, and there's an ad for Heinz Worcester sauce, double bubble chewing gum. Dad rates when he gives me double bubble, says Slugger Wilson. And no, you're not going to walk on the magazine, kitty. Hold on. Okay. And cat loves paper. Uh... Here's an ad for uh, Libby's Vienna Sausage. And it says, uh, richer in protein, bigger in value. Libby's Vienna Sausage. And they have given you a serving suggestion here uh, for Libby's Vienna Sausage recipe. It's uh, corn, the sausage with some grilled tomatoes. It's a, a way to, you might want to present this. Or you could also serve it with, um, uh, this is not actually this is different. This is corned beef hash here, another one of the products, and uh, they show you how to cook it with some cheese on top, a strip of cheese on top, pimento, and you know garnish it in that 1950s sort of way. Here's an ad for uh, Utica briefs, or is it Utica? Um, lucky you, now we guarantee your comfort. Uh, let's see, murine for your eyes, murine drops. And this magazine has uh, seen better days, let me tell you. It looks like some stuff was pulled out here. There was an ad for men, uh, men in spray deodorant here. It was ripped out probably a long time ago. It looks like some stuff was cut out right here. There was an ad for combs. But the good news is, is um, this beautiful car ad is preserved. Um, the new Willys Deluxe Station Wagon. The sensational new Arrow Willys. Willys scores a double hit. And um, see your Willys dealer, Willys Overland Motors, Toledo, Ohio. How many of you have heard of Willys cars? So interesting. Uh, an ad for GE Iron, uh, Playtex Fab Lined Girdles, Bromo Seltzer, POW Injector Blades uh, to put into your razor, letters and pictures to the editor. Um, Let's eat Tums for fear of acid indigestion, heartburn. Now, let's eat Tums. Here's another ad from Murine. Anison. Uh, here's an ad for the Yellow Pages phone book. Ah, here we have another cigarette ad for Fatima cigarettes. If you listen to the Dra Dragnet radio program, uh, on if you like old time radio, you'll probably catch some Fatima cigarette commercials. Um, compare a Fatima with any other king size cigarette. Fatima filters the smoke 85 millimeters for your protection. Fatima's length cools the f smoke for your protection. Fatima's length gives you those extra puffs 21% longer. And you get an extra mild and soothing smoke plus the added protection of Fatima quality. Um, look, applauds. PFC Edward Gomez in the, the United States Marine Corps. The Marines Medal of Honor is presented in their local church. Uh, I'm guessing for action in the Korean War. Um, and I believe it was posthumous. Which uh, is the way a lot of those are presented. Wins friction proofing oil. Bob and Ray, uh, for spoofing radio TV mercilessly, NBC's Bob and Ray will earn about $150,000 cash in 1952 
as they used to say in Boston, that ain't hay. So, it's just some jokes from Bob and Ray show here. Like, for example, I mean, it's just little snippets of dialogue. Um, here is an ad for TCMA Trailer Coach Manufacturers Association selling uh, travel trailers. Here's an ad for Dual Therm Silver Jubilee Oil Home Heater. The Blind Sea of Barnyard. Uh, this is Daisy May, a uh, stoical Guernsey. They're talking about the cow here. Stands quietly as Rosanna, a student at Francis Blend Elementary School, feels for her udder. Um, and these are uh, blind children going to a farm. Here's an ad for Vaseline Cream Hair Tonic. Get some color in the ad. Uh, more about the uh, the blind children and their experiences with animals at the zoo. Here's some pages about theater on the run, Sac Sacramento Music Circus, like other new tent theaters presenting operettas to summer audiences, gives young talent rare chance for experience, demands plenty of running. We can drive hate from our cities. Uh, some they're talking interestingly. Some trouble traced to Reds, and uh, if you know anything about the fifties, um, the Reds were, were referring to were communists, because this was during the uh, the McCarthy times, where um, the Red Menace, you know. So uh, it's interesting that this article about uh, hate in the cities, and accusing the, the, the bad guy of the time period. Here's an ad for Colgate Toothpaste. Um, get your tires, a full cover, full cover page here. And this is the whole article, We Can Drive Hate From Our Cities. Here's an ad for Vaseline Hair Tonic. Hair looks better, scalp feels better when you check dry scalp. Here's a photo quiz. Um, and a famous beauty who committed suicide was Josephine Cleopatra Nefertiti, Madame Pompadour. Uh, Cleopatra committed suicide by uh, having an asp bite her. This strenuous exercise goes on during a tug of war, maple dance, drug hunt, swimming lesson. That's obviously a tug of war. Marlon Brando plays a hero of Mexico in Viva Pancho Villa. Rivera story, Viva Zapata, or Mexican Hayride. I believe that was Viva Zapata. An aerial view of a famous city. It shows New York, La Havre, France, London, or Quebec. That looks... Very much like Ellis Island of New York, but I may be mistaken. I'm thinking about the shape of that, but I don't see the Statue of Liberty on it. It's de I don't think it's London, but I think that's where the Statue of Liberty the Island was at. I might be wrong. Author of the Scarlet Letter, uh, obviously Nathaniel Hawthorne. Um, indispensable to his job in the, is the lumberman's... Uh, I'm not sure. Grapple, hook, pike pole, or push stick. Long-tailed and beautiful is the Chinese quail, nightingale, peacock, or pheasant. If you hold these cards in poker, you a royal straight flush, a full house, a flush, or straight flush. S streams of water or turn on the card to wash it, test it for leaks, cool it, or rust it. And these seafarers are from the nursery rhyme, Three Wise Men of Gotham, Owl and the Pussycat, Boating, all at sea. So there's your little photo quiz. And we got, there was half of a comments page and um, Liam Perrin's ad. Yeah, this magazine has seen some better days, let me tell you. Um, Beetle High Detergency Motor Oil. And this would be its news, the other half of it. And, um, as you can see, it's funny how one half faded much differently than the other half. 
which tells me this magazine hasn't been touched a lot in the last 67 years. Um, Swift's egg yolks for babies. Celebrities offer help to needy, unable to appear. Uh, if your car feels like this, it's time for Marfac Chassis Lubrication. And these are just little news snippets. Big Hearted Boosters. Here's a... Uh, Welcome your Watkins men, the shopping center that comes to your home. Watkins, um, I know a little bit about this stuff. Um, in feed stores and so forth, they sold products by Watkins. Um, and they made liniment and all kinds of other things. You know, home goods, tonics, things of that sort. Special crafts. Uh, mayonnaise, salad dressing. And then a little bit more about that. And after Lucky Strike. And uh, as you can see, they're peeling Lucky Strike because that was, they, they packed it so tightly you could peel the paper off and still smoke it. Marilyn Monroe shows how to walk. Look applauds Reverend Anthony McCabe, Arnold Rosenthal, Hiram Houghton, um, Sinapra Brumasfeltzer, uh, Dr. West's Miracle Tough Toothpaste. Here's a beautiful ad for Pepsi Cola. Rita Hayworth's back, and there's a nice picture of her on. And there's an article on page 59. That's just a great picture, great pinup. The um, here's another page that's all twisted around. And there's Chris Craft boat kit, letters and pictures. Filled with some book and magnesia. Do you know the number? This is long distance calls go through faster when you call by number. And let's see, New York, New York, the tip of the island where the sea meets Manhattan is ours again at last. Uh, for Pontiac, oh, I'm starting to see what's going on here. This is, half of these pages are backwards. This is, a lot of these pages have been torn out and I think one project I might have in the future is getting all of this back in order. Here's an ad for that one of those cereal variety packs um, for the best choice make your first choice post tins and you got raisin bran grape nuts flakes corn flakes crinkles and sugar crisp this is the cover of another look look magazine it's got Bob Hope on the cover I think there's two looks saw uh, Mutated up into this stack here. <laughs> this is August 20. This is the next issue. Look right here. It's jammed in in the middle of reporter Marilyn Monroe issue. So I got two for one. And there's another photo quiz. Two pages of photo quiz here. And I have her overalls. Little Lulu. Now this look seems to be in good shape. I think what we've been dealing with is another look that was jammed in here. Look at this pretty ad for Western Electric. Look how well that was painted. Are young Americans afraid to fly? The military services are shaking the barrel to find pilots to man our growing air arms. Youths avoid flying risks as services scramble for effective lures. Interesting. I didn't know that was a problem in the 50s. It might have been just the problem that they didn't want to get fight in the Korean War, too. Sorry, I'm having a coffee break here. Um, 
Corgi and Bess, a new and glittering revival of Gershwin's folk opera, embarks on a year-long tour to show Western Europe catfish roll. Um, that was very famous. I say Dorothy Dandridge was in it. I think. Poor game best, still exciting melodrama. Indeed, you can save money on food these days. Uh, Borden Starlight, non-fat dry milk solids, and there's ads for ice cream. Borden's College Cheese, Cream Cheese, Instant Coffee. Here's a very pretty and very 50s ad for pins. This looks great. And I'll tell you what, $15 for a pin is a lot of money in 1952. Miss America Cash is in. And here's a beautiful ad for Betty Crocker cake mixes. And that cake looks scrumptious, I'll tell you, that looks great. Um, Scotch cellophane tape, cellophane tape. Um, Gabby deodorant stick with chlorophyll. You don't see a lot of products advertising chlorophyll a lot these days. I, I used to, the last thing I remember advertising chlorophyll was some kind of breath mint. And that was back in the 80s. I haven't heard chlorophyll being advertised for anything ever since then. Here's an after Heinz 57 varieties. Grant Land Rice's football forecast for 1952. Win a trip to Paris, plus a fabulous new wardrobe. Maryland, Michigan, State, Illinois, Washington State, buy for top spot. Georgia Tech, Maryland, Duke, Oklahoma, Bruce. Illinois, huh, Then talking about the different football teams, the best, Washington State, Texas Christian, Michigan State, Georgia Tech, and Pennsylvania. None but shoes. I think they still make shoes. Uh, party pack beverages. Enjoy America's party drink. AC oil filters. And here's another yay. Here's uh, Yes, Marilyn Monroe. Um, Quaker State Motor Oil. There's Georgia Tech. Uh, and here's an ad for Bandy Plastic Strips. Kind of a racy ad for 1952, let me tell you. Um, Changing Shapes in Men's Collars. Here's an ad for Havoline Motor Oil. Um, a two-page ad for The Quiet Man starring John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. And it's a really beautiful two-page ad. That's it's a good movie if you like Ireland and if you like John Wayne and Marine O'Hara, it's a it's a fun movie to watch. Kind of romantic comedy, sort of, sort of. Uh, here's an ad for Paps Blue Ribbon. And other products that you can pair with it, like treat, canned meat, Ritz crackers, hot dogs. Um, Pork and Beans. How to Improve Your Luck by AHC Carr. Pick up a copy of Quick Magazine. Halo Shampoo. Auto Light Spark Plugs. And what do we have here? Terry Tin Cigarettes. Another cigar. Are they going to talk about how safe they are? 
Discriminating people prefer Herbert Terryton. They appreciate the kind of smoking that only fine tobacco and genuine cork tip can give. The cork tip doesn't stick to the lips. It's clean and firm. And discriminating people prefer Herbert Terryton because they're modern size. Not only means a longer, cooler smoke, but that extra measure of fine tobacco makes Herbert Terryton's most unusual cigarette value. They're not pretending to be safe, though. Um... In one short year, uh, this is a movie. What is it? Oh, Tovarik is a summer stock production. Clean mouth taste for hours, Pepsi and toothpaste. Some fun on the beach. Um, and very racy picture for 1952 magazine here. Um, and this is about the arts. Keep your eye on the donut. Clorets, another. This is this is it. This is the gum I was talking about. Clorets chlorophyll gum, and I saw ads for that. That was the last thing I ever remember seeing a product advertising that had chlorophyll in it. So ad for cotton dresses. Exciting bouquet, cashmere bouquet. So I remember seeing that as a kid, but I don't know if they still make it. They might. I don't. I don't really look for it, but more care for less money. Permanent health plan. Which one will you open next? Park Davis and Company. Research and manufacturing labs. Phillips Milk and Magnesia. Ride a bike, it's fun. Ron Rico Rum. Men and Talcum Powder. 21 Ways to Stay Alive and Look. Uh, it's an article about safe driving. Underwood Typewriters. Uh, love in a Picasso setting. Got some color on these pages. Pablo Picasso. And here's uh, one of his charcoal drawings. It's interesting to think because he was alive when this was done. So, sun kissed oranges. What do you know about children? Now, here's another thing uh, Colgate chlorophyll. Okay, I'm 1952. Chlorophyll was the king, I guess. <laughs> I'm seeing it everywhere. Um, Nestle's quick. Here is Hollywood on its toes. It's an article about dancing in movies. Alicia Markova, M Morris Shearer. Dinah, I guess this must be Dinah Shore. Dinah gets prettier though the, through the years. She still is the same natural singer Eddie Cantor discovered. Eddie Cantor was a vaudevillian who became an actor, but he was one of the old guys. By by the thirties, he was one of the old guys. So I want to say that Dinah Shore actually dated Burt Reynolds. She was much older than him. She gained pep and energy with the Anna Delafield reducing plan. Ting for foot itch. Pomalo aftershave lotion. Uh, vegetables fresh and ready. In color. What Harry Truman will do after January. I guess we're getting ready for Eisenhower here. 
Mirage or not, Raider sees through those saucers too. Oh, this is a, interesting. This is about UFOs, flying saucers. It says, one, flying saucers do exist. Two, people have seen them. Three, they are not what people thought they saw. And here's a report sheet. You know, uh, President Jimmy Carter actually had a UFO sighting. Interesting. There's real money in the money-making game. There's President Eisenhower, or future President Eisenhower. Here's an ad for 7-Up. Look at the mobile bottles. Very pretty colors. And we are done. So, there was a nice little trip. A full-color trip back to the 50s. And a magazine that needs a, a lot of sorting out here. But I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this was definitely uh, a trip into the past. And uh, uh, I hope you liked it. So uh, sorry about the sirens in the beginning of the video. But I hope you were still able to salvage something. So anyway, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.